Now, just have a look at the technicals today, uh, everyone. Uh, it's the 8th of February to look at the technicals. Things look extremely good to me, I have to say. ADA I like very much. ADA to me can easily get to 80 cents from here. 80 cents, and then the next level is obviously a dollar. It's broken out. It's gone through resistance here at 0.66975. Resistance becomes support on the way down. It's way above the 200-day moving average. This is a nine-day moving average. The price action is moving further away from that. It's doing a lot of volume. So I am ultra bullish ADA. Uh, it's gone through pivot points and Fibonacci levels. So it looks very, very good. This thing could easily get to $1.40 as far as I'm concerned. That's my target for that. Ambrose is, is lagging a little bit. Ambrosia's on the daily, it does have a, a minor support here at 0.0249 and it's hitting a resistance level of 0.0276 here. Uh, it has got up higher 0.0314 but it's been sold down there. But I've still got a long here, I've still got a channel break on a long. The 9 day moving average has moved through the 200 day moving average which is ultra bullish so you might get a break on this. This looks a little bit like a descending wedge, okay? As I said, the support is here at 0.022986725. This uh, token has been sold off about 95%. So it could be one of those where you could get a bit of a move from $0.02 cents to about $0.06, cents, okay? Uh, I like it very much because it's a low-risk uh, bet, okay? Uh, Adam, some of these coins, as you know, and tokens are in our investment portfolio and some are in our trading portfolio, okay? So I'm just going to go through just these technically. Uh, to see how they look and, and, and what the story is, okay? Now, um, Adam basically is hitting a wall here around $15, okay? That's a big level resistance. Uh, it's a Fibonacci level as well. And, uh, you know, basically, I think it's going to really struggle to get through that wall. If we go to, let's just quickly look at the monthly on Adam. Uh, it is fairly extended, but I think, you know, if it gets through $15, it's new territory for this one. Uh, uh, I suspect that it will probably, you know, struggle to get through 15, but we'll just have to see where it's going. Now, I told people to buy AVEX in their investment portfolio when it was 12 bucks. We watched this thing go from $4 to 12, and I said to people, just bite the bullet and buy this thing, okay? This thing has gone through the roof. It's a part of Flare Network. It's a great story. They bring interoperability to all the blockchains that don't have smart contracts. It's amazing, okay? Now, you know, it's hitting a wall through this resistance level, just over 30 bucks. Uh, but look, it looks very good. There's been mega volume done on this, mega volume. I've got, I've got a channel break on this thing around $12. That's where I told people to buy. But it's a, it's a fantastic story, okay? Fantastic story. And honestly, I do believe AVEX was another chain link, and I was completely right about that. It's actually higher than chain link. Now, with the interoperability with the flare system they're going to do more and more and it is a terrific terrific story um one that's a bit of a a disappointment i think is bitcoin cash i i don't like bitcoin cash i never have but i can see that it hasn't really performed much and you know compared to other coins it could potentially get up to uh, 600 bucks but uh, you know it's just one i don't like i guess i don't like roger veer that much and um for what he what he stands for and I just, um, you know, it's just, it's just one because I don't like it. I don't buy it, if you know what I'm saying. So, but in saying that, technically, you know, it could push up higher. This one of it goes, you know, obviously through 465, it could back, get back up to around 600 bucks. Okay, it has underperformed other coins uh, and tokens, uh, and you know, we are in the buy zone on that. Now, Binance has done very well. I think Binance is a $300 uh, coin. It's look, these guys are a cash cow business it's amazing these guys will just keep going up and up and up they buy their coins back it's a great story okay support level on this is 68.58 resistance is around if we can just have a look at that uh 75.83 it's a great story Binance. it really is it's in our investment portfolio and it's a fantastic story story this thing is going higher and higher they've got 100 million they want to get 100 million supply they keep buying back uh, their coins uh, after every quarter out of their profitability. Their profitability is unbelievable. Uh, centralized, they're making a mega load. They've got about 52 million clients. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Binance, honestly, any pullback, uh, I, I'd be buying it. I love Binance. I know it's expensive, but it's a great story. Um, the Bitcoin dominance will 
uh, go lower. As far as I'm concerned, it'll go down about 50, 55%. It's actually heading down there very quickly. Uh, the high on this thing was about 42,000. Clearly, this will go through uh, the high again. There's no doubt about that. Uh, resistance about 42,000. If it goes through there, it's going to reach my target of uh, 54,215. I've got a valuation on that at 54,215. Uh, this is a bit, um, we, we've got a trading position on BTT, and that looks like it's definitely going to go higher. Part of Tron, BitTorrent, got 200 million clients. Uh, this thing could easily get to point zero 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 five or even up here, right? Uh, this is a great story, point zero zero six uh, three, or potentially even up here, okay? This is broken out, looks very good. Very good. Uh, it's starting to gap as well, which means there's some underlying buying on this thing. It's past this last previous point of 0 0.005, and it's going to break out to the top side, okay? Also, we bought Civic. Uh, Civic got to uh, over 30 cents. Interesting. Uh, obviously, this looks great. Um, I'd like to see more volume being done on this. It was selling on this. I'd like to see more volume on the buyer side. Support here, 0.2236. Um, L Dodge, we had that as a trading position, and clearly it looks like it's uh, hitting a wart 0.0814613. Okay, uh, still in the uptrend. It's way away from its uh, nine-day moving average. Uh, it's a very positive trend. Big volume done here. They may push it up again. Uh, it is hitting a resistance level of 0.0814. So I'll just watch that. If it can't get through that, I'll probably sell my L Dodge today. That's for sure. Uh, Dot's done very well. We got into polka dot uh, way, way ago. Great story. Resistance is 22.43. If it gets through that, the next level is 26.38. Don't forget, on the way down, resistance becomes support, okay? Uh, I've got a channel break, which has got me in to buy. It's through all my major pivot points, uh, in my resistance levels. Volume hasn't been doing much, but this, the price action is still going up, which is interesting, okay? Uh, engine's doing well. Engine could potentially get to very quickly 49 cents off this, okay? Uh, this looks like it's going to break out. It looks a bit like a descending wedge to me. This thing could go right up to 49 very quickly, okay? If it goes through that level, you're gonna, it's off to the races to the next, um, Fibonacci point of 0.78%, okay? So a great story. I don't like EOS. I never have. So I don't trade EOS. I don't like it. Uh, I'm probably more likely to sell EOS because I don't believe in it. Uh, they ripped off the retail client base as far as I'm concerned. And Dan Larimer, who was the founder, has actually left. So um, I tend not to trade things I don't like. I don't like ETC either. Ethereum, you know, I think Ethereum's going to hit a wall about, uh, you know, from here, you know, 1800, 1784. You know, I think there's a lot better prospects out there than Ethereum. I think they're really struggling at the moment with their high. Uh, fees, gas fees, I mean, they're just astronomical, and I think that's going to be a real problem for Ethereum. Uh, we have it in our investment portfolio, but I do think there's better quality uh, technology out there uh, that's a lot cheaper, and I think Ethereum over time is going to bleed. That's my personal opinion. Um, I don't tend to trade Ethereum. It's an, it's an portfolio investment, uh, so I don't trade uh, a portfolio stock, okay, or a portfolio crypto for the investment portfolio. Uh, we're in fun. Now fun, uh, moved right up here to about, um, 0.05. Uh, it's just on the, uh, nine day moving average. So the thing is, if that falls through that, it looks, it's going to be quite bearish. Maybe time to get out of fun. Uh, that's a bit of a trading one. Way above the, uh, 200 day moving average. This one's done quite well. It's in gaming. Uh, we just have to see what the support is on this. This support here comes in about 0.0317. Uh, 317.0317 or even here 0.03598 okay now GRT's done very well we got into that uh, at very very cheap levels this looks excellent on the chart seriously this thing could easily get to a dollar ten okay a dollar ten or the big resistance level a dollar twelve even potentially a dollar twenty seven it looks extremely extremely good H bar I don't like uh, basically saw some selling around eleven cents Still above the nine day moving average and away above the 200 day moving average. So, uh, support is pretty much here at 0.0979. If it goes through that support, the next level is down here to 0.072. Huby tokens done very well off to the races. That thing could easily get to 10, 1030, 1050. 
uh, ICX, Icon, uh, that thing has not done as well as other coins, but this thing looks like it could break out to me very quickly on the upside. Could see it get to a dollar. Uh, Qcoin's done very well, but it looks like it's uh, potentially got a red uh, red price action there. Uh, 179, 183 is going to be big resistance in two, but I do think it can get there. It was very oversold last year when they had a hack. Uh, Link's done very well. Uh, support uh, support is here at uh, 2401, and resistance is 25.94. Uh, five. So anything over 20, 26, it's hitting a, it's hitting a resistance level here, right? Uh, where people are selling it. But we'll just have to see, providing it stays above the nine day moving average, it's still very, very bullish, okay? Uh, LISC is starting to perform. Uh, it did get sold off around 178 and it's back down to, uh, where the, where it is, uh, 1.6654. Uh, we do have to see this thing push through to the previous highs to get higher. This thing years ago used to be a lot higher, actually, much higher. So uh, if we go back on the charts, you know, it was way over $2.13. And if you go back even further, uh, it was a much higher. So that might be an opportunity itself. Litecoin, to me, hasn't done very well. Um, I think Litecoin can break out. I think it should be around 180 And if it gets through 180 it's off to the races with Litecoin. $3.60, something like that, okay? Matic's done very well. We're in Matic as a trading opportunity. It's going to hit a wall by the looks of it, 0.082. I'd like to see how this will go around this level. Uh, you know, this could be blue sky if it gets through. Uh, what have we got? 0.08338. We're also in mainframe. That's doing very well. Again, let's have a look at that. 0.0204. Looks pretty good. So let's just um, pull out some Nexo I like very much. Nexo uh, obviously got sold at 182, but I think if it gets through this resistance level again, 158, it's off to the races. I, think, I see Nexo as being around three dollars, something like that. Okay. Uh, so what else we got here? Let's just quickly go through Poly Chain. Uh, Poly Poly they sold it around what have we got 14 cents. Uh, support is around 0.118. Power Ledger. Power Ledger. Gosh, that's an interesting, yeah, okay, that's very interesting. Went up and down, it's really big sell order on Power Ledger. That's very interesting there, look at that, huge sell order. Okay, and it went all the way down there, crikey, that must have been a big sell order. Okay, well, big support is around this 10, 10 cents. And, you know, it's really struggling to get through this 13 cents. And there's a huge sell order there, would love to have known who that was. Um, We've got P... P, what is it, P, P, R, Q. This thing looks like it may break out soon, but we do have a sell on this, okay? So I'm a bit reluctant when I've got sells on my, uh, on my, uh, technicals, okay? Big break, uh, big wall here is 1.47. Now, Q, T, T, uh, Q, T, U, N looks pretty good. That thing could get easily to around $5. Request network starting to fly. But, you know, being sold off here, support is around, a minor level support is 0.0510, and a bigger level support is 0.0492. So let's just quickly go through, let's have a look at Tron. Tron could go a lot higher. I don't know if this is right, but, you know, I think, you know, anything over 4 cents, it could be breakout territory. Doing a lot of volume here. Wow. And then it got sold in. Look at this volume here. Uh, looks pretty good. I think Tron could go a lot higher. It looks like it's going to break out to me, Tron, actually, on this. Uh, through 0.03883, you could see a real breakout on Tron. Uh, let's have a look at VeChain. VeChain got a sell on this. Very interesting. It's, there has been a bit of selling on this, I have to say. Uh, can't seem to get through this 0 0.0343, 0 0.035. Bit of selling it came in. Interesting. Why are they selling it there? It's such a great story, fundamentally. Interesting. It needs to get through 0.0343 to be off to the races. Okay, we look at Wirex. This is uh, what I mean I just put on recently. It's uh, very under the radar. It's a sleeper. Looks very good technically. You have this rounded uh, here. It could easily get up to 0 0.009. Very low risk. Doing a lot of buying here. I like this. This looks good. This could go a lot higher, okay? It's under the radar. SBI put three million dollars into Warix, and this one looks good technically, and it's a very, very cheap bet. So we do have that. And what else we got? Stellar. 
Stella has, what have we got there? That's interesting. Okay, they've broken that level of 0.38. Could go to 0.43 on that. So uh, been very consistent on that. Very price. Uh, the price uh, action is very tight. Uh, it has been buying on this. And obviously it's broken the previous high here on the daily of 0.4076. Interesting, interesting. Let's have a quick look at XRP. Big sell level here. Wow. Big sell at 0.7543. Massive sell on, on the sell side. Massive. The traders or whoever are always trying to sell XRP. No doubt about that. Uh, but gee, it, it holds up. Sold massively. They sold it massively and now it's trying to just break above the nine day moving average. Very, very interesting. Minor level support is 0.40527. More of a major level support at the 61.618 Fibonacci level is 0.36752. I look at Fibonacci as well as pivot points, okay? Interesting. So let's have a look at Ox. Ox went a lot higher here. Uh, $2.16. Then they did some selling. Support is around $1.31. But I do think this thing can go higher again. So interesting in itself. Anyway, guys and girls, that's enough for me. I hope you get something out of this. Thank you.